Good morning, Palm Springs students and staff. It's your digital edition of Palm Springs TV. I'm Yair. And I'm Alejo. What you need to what you need to know about math as you start your fourth to last week of school. Plus, who's eating ice cream in their lunches today? But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. A major change on school campuses. Students no longer have to wear masks outside. This includes outside at PE. You must continue wearing masks in the hallways and classrooms for duration of the school year, which is only about four weeks longer. Starting next year, our district superintendent says masks are optional, meaning you will not be required to wear a mask anywhere on campus. The reason for this change is that more and more people are getting vaccinated. Recently, the Center for Disease Control said vaccinated people no longer have to wear a mask or social distance. Kids as young as 12 can now get the vaccine and dozens of students on our campus are already protecting themselves from COVID, while others ought to be vaccine-free. People are okay-ish, um, slight pain in my arm, but it's not pain, very intense pain. Uh, when I touch it, it hurts a little bit, but my arm's not stiff. Uh, no headaches, no fever, no nothing. Uh, go get the vaccine while I still can. Uh, from what I know, if you get the vaccine, you have more options. And uh, go with Pfizer instead of Johnson Johnson. You have a less chance of getting more fevers and other symptoms from the shot. But everybody reacts differently to the shots. So. I feel that getting the vaccine is going to be interesting. I haven't gotten a uh, shot for a pandemic before, so that's going to be new. Um, I'm sh the side effects are probably not going to be fun, especially for me, but I'll get over it eventually. Um, my arm is very sore. I didn't expect it to be hurting as much as I thought it did. Um, people usually get tired from the shot, but for me, for some reason, it did the opposite and it made me very, like, wa eyes wide open and I did not get sleepy at all. Um, but the arm definitely is not feeling well because of the shot. Vaccine. Um, my advice is that you should get it. I understand that this vaccine may be a little bit sketchy, but if you want to protect your family members, I highly suggest you get it. I feel kind of anxious and nervous because I really don't want to get the COVID vaccine, but I have to because of a family member. So basically I had to get a vaccine in like sixth grade and I was going with my grandma and I just got out of school and we were going and I don't like shots at all, needles, no. Um, and then I went and I was going to the room and they were like, okay, we're ready. I was like, I started like yelling, screaming, saying stuff. And basically, when they had start to get the needle, I literally ran out of MD now and went into the road. It was fine. I didn't feel it. Do you feel glad that you got it? Uh, yeah. My mom has asthma, so I needed to get it. I want to get the vaccine because usual vaccines go through testing for like four years and the COVID vaccine hasn't gone through testing long enough in my opinion. So I don't want to get it because like, I just don't feel comfortable, like I don't trust it. So.
Ultimately, the decision to get vaccine is up to you and your parents. So do what works best for your family. We are now officially finished with testing. If you did not take any part of one of your tests, you will be part of makeup testing. Please make every effort to get your FSC test completed as soon as possible. Today, students who made honor roll in the third nine weeks will get a special treat, ice cream, in your lunches. You'll also get a shirt if you haven't, want, if you haven't gotten one this year and a, and a certificate, so look out for that today. Speaking of shirts, this week you will have a chance to wear a shirt that represents your heritage. Thursday, we, can, we are celebrating Cultural Heritage Day, so wear something that shows how proud you are of your heritage. This month is actually Haitian Heritage Month, and I, along with Devaya H, created this story. Why are you proud to be Haitian? Because of the culture and the way they're unique and the food. I'm proud to be Haitian because, like, um, like, because like my country, like they work hard. They work hard for what they get and they're grateful for what they get. So I'm grateful for everything I have, you know what I'm saying? Hi, my name is Whitley. The thing about I love about Haiti is I love the food, the music, the language, the strong per perseverance and ability to make things happen. I um I love my culture and I'm very proud to be Haitian and I love all that comes with it, like the food, the music, and all the traditions that just come with it. I mean, I'm so I do. I'm <laughs> because I like the food, the music, the vibe, and also going to the beach, and also like um, the festival here, which is called Carnaval, and it's really fun, and I like going every year. So that's how I'm proud to be Haitian. Why are you proud to be Haitian? I'm proud to be Haitian because all the all the festivals like for example there's one at at the end of new year's and also the ocean at haiti is crystal blue haitian is everything to me that's why i like to be haitian why are you proud to be haitian really because um the foods are amazing but also like we get to have like um, a celebration and it's ha it's actually good to have your own culture and that's all I gotta say. Hi, this is Miss Crisfante. I'm an ESL teacher. I am very proud to be Haitian American. My parents are from, both of them are from Haiti, although I was born in New York. I did live in Haiti for about 10 years. Um, I just love to be Haitian American. I'm very proud of my country. I am I'm just, I just love everything about the culture. Um, we are a resilient um, nation. We are hard workers and we have so much to offer to the American society. We have a delicious food like the grill and bon appetit, you know, and um, that is the national dish. Uh, we're just a proud um, country. We're very, very proud of where we're from. We have a lot of rich history. Um, did you know that Haiti was one of the first countries to become independent based on slaves? The slaves got together and they said enough is enough and we became independent. We're very resilient and I just love that about the culture. I love the food, the clothes and just everything that being Haitian represents. Um, my parents raised me really, really well. We have so much to offer and um, I'm just, just proud and I'm happy to celebrate Haitian Flag Day. Puto Taisenyo. Can be lap. Why are you proud to be Haitian? Yeah, you know, is this month is Haitian Flag Day. So we have been using that flag for 218 years now to identify us as Haitian. But what I need Haitian kids to know is that in, 19, in 1779, between September and October, there were about 545 Haitian soldiers came to Savannah, Georgia to fight for the freedom of this country. So I need them to be part of that. And also, I need them to know that we are the first black-led republic in the world. And also, 
we are the first state in the Caribbean to be independent. So they have to be part of that. Also, we know that as Haitian, that we have formed some great people like Toussaint Louverture. This, this guy, they call him Louverture. These French generals call him Louverture because he always made an opening. That means this is what it means in French. Opening, like Louverture. So that's why they call him Louverture. All the generals, all the French generals, they know that he was so smart. They call him Louverture because he always made an opening. It does not matter what happened, he has something to do to make that opening. No, so I want Haitian no, kids uh, to know that I'm they good. are from this guy. You know, they are so smart. They need to use that now for this country where they are now and the home country, which is here. Thank you. This month is also Asian Pacific Islander Month. PSDV talked to Ms. Bayani about this tribute. She's just one of the people in our school proud to have her background in the Asian Pacific Islands. So May celebrates Haitian Heritage Month as well as Asian and Pacific Islander Month. So we celebrate um, people that have come to America and come to this country and celebrating their heritage, where they came from, and how they contribute to our country and make it great. So we have Haitian heritage, which Haiti is right here underneath Florida in this area, and Asian and Pacific Islander Month kind of is pretty broad, and it touches on those in Southeast Asia, Asia here like China, and some parts of Russia, and even parts of um, the Middle East as well. And we even have little islands like Polynesia, and those little islands right there and by Hawaii that are part of Pacific Islanders. So we're gonna celebrate those this month of May. So again, reminder, this Thursday, you have a chance to show off your heritage by wearing a shirt of your choice. Students and staff wore green shirts last week to show their support for mental health awareness. We cut these green shirts around campus. To get in touch with our guidance counselors or to find out more about dealing with anxiety or hard times, you can go to the website on your screen, sites.google.com slash palmbeachschools.org slash school dash counseling dash service slash home. Our SWAT club is on a mission to make sure you have all the facts about tobacco. Today, to give us a history lesson. Welcome students, my name is Catherine Morales, current president of the SWAT team here at Palm Springs Middle School. Here's a history lesson for you. As we all know, John Rove introduced tobacco in the 1612s which became a major cash crop for Virginia because Europe got addicted to it. However, it is not going to be until 1920s that scientists link lung cancer with smoking. That's over 300 years before people knew how bad smoking was for them, yet it was not taken serious. Here we have an ad from the early 1930s of doctors actually encouraging people to smoke. At the bottom, we can see that they recommended for a bad cough. And that's how stupid the tobacco community thinks you are. But we've wised up and we've seen their ugly side. So Big Tobacco put a new dress, vaping. Here we have two ads when they're advertising you to switch from smoking to vaping because no one likes a quitter. But we still see their ugly side. And it's time to say no and put it in the trash where it belongs.
Thank you to the SWAT Club for always keeping us informed. I'd like some information about the weather now. Let's check in with PSTV's Ashlyn. Thanks, Jair. This week's weather finally seems to be normal with the high of 89 degrees and a low of 86 degrees. It seems very nice outside to go to the beach and go for a swim. And I'll back to our anchors. Thanks, Ashlyn. Well, students, that's all for today. The next edition of PSTV will come out on Tuesday next week because we have Monday off for Memorial Day. Stay tuned for this week's birthdays. Bye. Bye. Oh, so-